Well, Monica came with uh, zeal and passion for the nonprofit sector and for those organizations that support the nonprofit sector. We were creative, we were trying whatever, and Monica was able to coalesce what we were trying into something that could be useful to the movement right across the country. Financial types will be cold and, and uh, perhaps and looking at numbers, uh, but you know, understanding uh, what it is we can do, how we can help, um, and she has an ability to seek out uh, what it is you can do. Uh, I think that's why she's been so powerful at advocacy. Uh, she's been powerful at bringing people together. I've worked with her for almost 17 years, and um, she's a uh, she has built a network, um, one carefully tended relationship at a time. She's been um, an incredible leader, I think a real visionary, um, and uh, a great friend. Frankly, I think in her sphere, she runs rings around the Lollum. She um, is, is, is quite, quite exceptional person, and um, we've, we've been hugely uh, fortunate to have her at our, uh, as our national leader at our helm. Um, for all these years. Same kind of enthusiasm and vision and warmth that she brings when she's meeting with members and you know community people and outside organizations you know she brings to the staff level so it's been you know really a joy to work with someone who um, is as passionate about their work as Monica is. I feel that she took a personal interest in our foundation here in Greater St. John and we truly appreciated that and opportunities that uh, were presented to us. And what a splendid example of leadership and building community that she is. She's, I think, been a model for, for many of us. She grew it. She grew the vision and uh, she um, has done a, just a superb job of uh, creating an organization that is um, highly valued by all of us who are running local community foundations in Canada, but uh, also has won the respect of philanthropic organizations all around the world. And that is something that I don't think we had ever expected. She's very knowledgeable. Um, about what's going on, uh, you know, really across the world in terms of uh, um, the community foundation movement. Um, there was a, a, a special meeting that was held in Berlin five or six years ago where worldwide leaders from community foundations came together and she chaired that, that, that particular um, event. And when, when, you, when I think about it, after being involved in this movement for the last 14 years, there's nobody else in the world who could have chaired it except Monica. Uh, she's got that kind of a reputation, that kind of trust, that kind of respect. When we started doing this work, there were very few community foundations around the world. Now that field has grown and expanded uh, and come to maturity. Monica has been a bridge between uh, those two moments, between the emerging moments and between the maturity moments. But in addition to that, Monica has been a point of, um, of convergence of ideas of the global north, the global south. And I think in, in a way, Monica has created a sense, a sense of oneness among the diverse community foundations around the world. I think you could say Monica is one of the most important leaders of the community foundation movement in the global sphere. Um, not only has she built one of, in my opinion, most important international organizations and an infrastructure to develop philanthropy globally and more specifically community foundations globally, she has also led uh, methodologies that are being applied like the vital science for example that is being applied in cities in Brazil so she has had a local effect or a national effect in Canada but I think she has had a very important role globally and and, and she has put us at the top of top of the map in terms of the work of community foundations around this world as a result of both her style her professional style her warmth her genuine caring uh, her knowledge about philanthropy her knowledge about community development it's been fantastic with the work that she's done. I think there's a community foundation culture that has been established in Canada 
largely because of Monica's doing and her and her the, the board members she's had, um, that have set a model for a lot of other countries, and that's where her international uh, work has come in. Well, I think Monica has been just wonderful as a leader in this area. She's got that insight of 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 looking at trends as they come about, and she tends to reach out. She has this. A tremendous ability to listen to people, process what they're saying, and make something happen. What Monica was able to do early on, I think, was to imbue the organization with a sense that we're a membership organization. Our primary purpose is to serve the members. So we have to be close to them, we have to listen. We have other things that we do in terms of building the movement, which is, is going beyond what any individual uh, community foundation can do. But if we don't keep that close contact uh, and, and balance the, the, the kind of the, the vision and the leadership and the, the, um, the imagination to come up with new ideas with the need to be very conscious of what are people in communities across the country, what are they saying and feeling, what are the community foundations having to respond to, I think that's, that's been critical to her success and that's, that's a very unique leadership talent I think. One which uh, in, a, in a country like Canada, which is so diverse, is absolutely essential.